do to the smell, right? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, this is the Freedom Flirt. Let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is the Freedom Flames. Just stop it. And start it, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is the Freedom Flames Grilling Channel. We are your hosts, Todd and Steve. And Steve's got something real nice sitting over there. What do you got, Steve? Well, every time I'm looking for something new, something to impress the family or the friends that are coming over for that barbecue, I find myself going down the YouTube channel and land myself in the mecca of barbecue, Texas. And there's a guy on there that I find that I follow a lot. Is it Texas Barbecue? Texas Barbecue. It's not Meat Church, is it? <laughs> it is Meat Church. Oh, I it love definitely meat is Church. Meat Church. And I saw something on there. I said, oh, man, I got to try that. I've never seen that before. So today we're going to be trying stuffed shotgun shells. Shotgun. I bet that tastes like America. <laughs> I bet it does. I bet it does. So you know what? Let's fire up some freedom. Todd. Yes. What are you doing? Get my apron on, Steve. I don't want to get grease all over my shirt. Oh, here. Let me help you. Let me help you. What you got? Here, try oh this one. my. Try that one and see how that works out for you. Ooh. Wow. Don't suppose this is a rugged poly canvas material, is it? As a matter of fact, it is. It withstands wow. the rigors of everyday barbecue use. Wow. I don't know if you noticed, but on the backside, there is a mesh, moisture-wicking, comfortable liner on the backside. Moisture-wicking. That is true. That is very comfortable for your barbecue needs. You know what that makes me want to do? What's that? Take my shirt off. Do it. I will spare you all. <laughs> the shirtless barbecue. You know what the best thing about these aprons is, Todd? What is that? Steve? Every piece of material and every stitch is made here, right here in the United States of America. I tell you what, it sure is pretty quality. I, I, I like it. Yeah. Well, let's get cooking, Todd. Let's do it. All right. For well, what do you got in here? For these stuffed shotgun shells, you're going to need a couple things. You need a pound of ground beef, lean ground beef, and a pound of sweet. Italian sausage. You can use mild or spicy if you like. Make it your own, but this is what the recipe calls for. Okay. We also have a couple special ones here, thanks to Todd. Why don't you tell us about some of the sausage that we're using today? Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, every year my family and I, we like to go deer hunting. So we harvested a deer this year, made some sausage. So all it is is ground up deer meat with some beef fat. You can use pork fat, but this time around we use beef fat mixed with some Secret family recipe herbs and spices. Mm. I'm not telling you what's in that, but you can go online and find any sausage recipe. But it is, uh, it's great breakfast sausage, and we're going to give it a shot in these shotgun shells today. All right, so if you're going to mix up your meat, you're going to take your ground beef and your sausage, and then you're going to get that thick country shredded cheese. And today we're using a jal jalapeno Colby Jack cheese to be mixed in here. That was that was good. That was real good. That was you nice. can't say jalapeno. Without <laughs> jalapeno, right? So you're going to stuff the shells from both sides and stuff it until it comes out the other end. I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> so once you're done stuffing your shells with your ground beef mixture and your <sighs> sausage mixture, you're going to wrap it in bacon. The ultimate, ultimate barbecue accessory is bacon. So then once you're done wrapping them in bacon, you're going to take your favorite seasoning. And today we used, because we used Meat Church's recipe, we're going to be using the Honey Hog Barbecue Dry Rub. And you can find that at Meat Church. This calls for letting them sit in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours. The longer, the better. If you prep them the night before <coughs> to cook them, that's even better, right? It lets all that moisture absorb into the shell. 
Once you have your grill fired up to 300 degrees, we're gonna put these bad boys on there and we're gonna let them set for an hour. You ready? Let's do it. We got an hour to kill, so might as well plug our, our friends here. Our buddy Joe over at Woodlowski made us this cutting board. He does a lot of really good woodworking, killer stuff. Check him out. We'll we'll try and post a link in his uh, in our description here. Also, my friend Ashley with Right Where You Are, W R I T E. Check her out on Instagram. We'll post a link to her uh, her page in our description. But she does a lot of custom signs. Uh, just send her a picture from your couch. She'll make you something cool and give it, get it to you in about a week. She, she does really good work. Well, Steve, it's been about an hour. We yeah. say we check them. Yeah, so just a few minutes ago, we put some barbecue sauce on them, basted them with some barbecue sauce with your uh, basting brush, let that tack up for about five to 10 minutes, and we've done that already. So now we're ready to pull these bad boys off and give them a try. Wow. There they are. Stuffed shotgun shells. You know, they look great. Unfortunately for the viewer, I'm sorry that you are not able to smell the smells that we are getting out of this. The sweetness of the barbecue sauce, the smokiness. It it smells fantastic. I can't wait fantastic. to try it. Fantastic. Can't wait to try it. All right, let's get one of these bad boys off. Cut it open and see what we're working with here. Look at that. Ooh. Juicy, smoky. You can see how tender it is. Even though those shells were nice and hard pasta shells, over that cooking time, they soften up. Let's see how this thing tastes, Todd. Give that a whirl, see how that works out for you. I don't mind if I do. Cheers. Oh, that is fantastic. You know what that tastes like? Tastes like freedom. That tastes like freedom. That is delicious. delicious. Really I'm going to have this little one before you it, get it. Take it. Man, those are good. Matt mm. with Meat Church did a killer job again. Another great recipe for us to try. So thank you. I hope you all enjoyed this. You know, we're just a couple idiots out here trying to <laughs> trying to make good food. So give us a like and a subscribe if you guys want to see more. Head over to freedomflames.com if you want to get some sweet grilling gear with the mesh so you can grill topless. <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah, it's your house. You can do what you I'm want. I'm going to do it. Anyway, we appreciate you guys logging on, watching us, uh, you know, and let the flames of freedom keep the flames of freedom alive in your backyard let them <laughs> idiot so, so stupid oh god you're a moron <laughs> head on over to freedomflames.com you can get yourself some cool patriotic grilling gear like we got uh it's really high quality made in the made in the usa really good stuff you'll love it it's great for the griller and your family makes for a great gift so head on over there. We're also available on Amazon. Check us out. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Helps our channel. Helps us bring our idiotness to you. Uh, and hey, who knows? Some more. Maybe you'll learn. Maybe you'll learn something. I don't know. If nothing else, we're trying to entertain. So we make good food. I know that. Until the next time, keep the flames of freedom alive in your backyard. I'm gonna eat good. this sandwich yeah. right here. That's delicious.